Being smash and grab is probably the expression for it. Probably thanking Jason and the huddle there after yeah. yeah. Yeah, I suppose look we knew we knew coming into it was always gonna be a battle against it there, like you know, it's kind of a local rivalry we've had down through the years and I suppose we know each other quite well. And during the first half we went in at half time, three points down and we knew we had to push it on and we couldn't we couldn't get that game going there. It's only the kind of five five, six minutes like to Jason set up Mark Carmody and Tom O'Brien a few scores got us back into it. Look, thank God we got the win, Keen Fitz there, lovely scores well to finish, but great credit to Utah there, like you know, the battle they brought today and so it's an honour to, I suppose we play with each other, a lot, a lot of us play with each other, with Limerick can come out here then we are batting side by side, so thank God we got over the line. Is it, uh, how, how much is it going to stand to you going into next week? Actually, look, obviously we have to go back and take a big long look at ourselves, like, I suppose there's a lot of learnings in that for ourselves, and we know next Saturday it's an appearance we're playing, so another massive battle ahead of us, and look, you know the players and the calibre of lads they have, and they have massive aspirations, but for us it's just to focus on ourselves and hopefully we can get back together and drive on again. It was one of those games where you really had to dig deep, Keane, I, I'm sure, and going in at half time, we even saw it the second half, you maybe took it by the scruff of the neck with the, the couple of points from play. We saw, obviously, Aaron hitting a few frees. Was there a lot of maybe soul searching at half time? Yeah, I suppose you always kind of, I suppose, question yourself really if things aren't going your way or trying to wonder why and what can you do to push things on. But look, Gary, credit to to the 15 lads that start and the lads that come on. That's the way. It's gone. It's a panel game now, like with the club, and just pushing each other. And as I said, things were going against us. We were down a few points, but lads stood up. Lads put their hands up, and thank God we got over the line. But this time of year, hurling is a battle. That's what it comes down to. Long enough, we were. You were playing matches kind of behind closed doors, and with no one in here. Obviously, the club championship yeah. last year. Uh, the, the, some of the loudest roars of the night, in fairness, were from Adair fans, but uh, it's, it must really add to the atmosphere. I know you've done it at inter-county level, but to be back here at the Gaelic grounds and to hear the roar from the oh, Mackey stand again. It's unbelievable, I suppose. Nothing beats your local village and your local community, and I suppose that goes for Adair and ourselves, and obviously South Libraries and Camelot. To have your own, I suppose, your own community here supporting and roaring you on, even if things are going against you, is just it's special. To have your family and wider community there is huge. And look, thank God we got over the line, but it gives the sports another day out, doesn't it? So, please God, we can drive on next week again. King, you obviously will need to go up a few gears to, to dethrone the Pearcey. Consistency and inconsistent, I suppose, there's probably been a, a word to describe your couple of games so far. Yeah, I suppose, look, against Doon, we didn't get over the line. We had a nice little win over a hand. And today is another another game where we've, I suppose, a lot to work on. You know? And that's, that's the beauty of sport and the beauty of hurling. Like, after every game, if you've stuff to work on, it's brilliant because no one is a has perfected the game of hurling and ourselves we know we have a lot to do and a lot to drive on and you know in the Pearson, as I said massive team massive aspirations and all we can do is focus on ourselves and keep the heads down Just a quick word I think uh, John Kiley was probably here watching today <laughs> N- nice to see John and, and the group uh, reconfirmed during the week yeah, I'm sure. so I suppose it's unreal like, and obviously an honour for them to be back again but for us now this time of year is focusing on our, our club and doing what we can do for the, the local clubs so. Just a, sorry, apologies. So just a few words for Jason as well. Like he did, like he took that free and he put that way that that didn't deter him. There, I think. no, sir. Like Jason's unbelievable. Obviously, he's inside Limerick in gold, but he can do stuff like that. There, the last five minutes, did he get three points in a row? Four, four in a row. That's like, and I said to Marshall, goes, all you have to do is throw the ball up and hit it and it'll go over. But he's brilliant. He's great, great attitude, and that goes for everyone. You know, as I said, the lads that come on, Keen Fitz, Patrick Kirby, youngsters, like, and that's I suppose that's what you need. You want young players pushing things on and pushing the likes of us on again because it's a cycle you have to keep that cycle going so looks great credit to the lads but as I said enough I get carried away with a lot to work on it. Uh, you talk about young fellas are keen Brian Murray made that save on, <laughs> on Mark Conley <laughs> and it would have been six points how big was that for you in the grand scheme of things? Asher Brian is unreal like you know he does he does stuff like that and you, you're questioning yourself you're saying how is that man able to do that but he's unreal you know I suppose it's no shock really to see him making saves like that and even his puck outs Brilliant, makes life a lot easier for us standing under the ball when you're getting it from Brian. So, look, unreal, great save, and it kind of kept us in it too because that goal could have changed everything. But as I said, all 